Buongiorno e benvenuto. Hello and welcome to Wanderlust. I am your host, Anne Zachary. And today we are visiting my favorite city on earth, Florence, Italy. Our first stop is the world famous Ponte Vecchio that you can see in the background for centuries. It has been full of artisan shops and today it remains a goldsmith center. And during World War II, it was the only bridge to be deliberately spared by the enemy because it's been so charming and has such history that they liked it just as much as well. And now let's go on to see the rest of this fabulous city. We're now at the Pitti Palace, 15th century palazzo, originally owned, as the name suggests, by the Pitti family, eventually by the Medici family, and by Napoleon as well. Now used as museums, including the Museum of Silver, Modern Art, and of course my favorite, the Museum of Costume. And now we are at the Boboli Gardens, the beautiful backyard of the Pitti Palace. It stretches far into the hills of Florence, eventually ending in Fort Belvedere, which allows you a wonderful view of the beautiful city. We're now at the Church of San Miniato al Monte, high atop the city of Florence. You can come here to see beautiful Gregorian chants sung here, rather than see, I should say. Just came out from Mass that was sung in Gregorian chants. Also, the monks that reside here make their own gelato and sell it at the store. Unfortunately, the store is closed now, but I'd love to try that sometime. And behind me is the beautiful Cathedral of Santa Croce, or Holy Cross, with its very typical Florentine pink, green, and white marble facade. And inside, you may consider this one of the national burying places, as the remains of such great Italians, such as Michelangelo, Galileo, Dante, Machiavelli, Rossini, and Ghiberti remain here. And here we are at the Bargello Museum in the center of Florence, formerly a prison and torture chamber. Uh, one of my famous memories of the Bargello is walking down the street at night right past the museum as somebody was blaring the theme from The Godfather outside of their windows, which I thought was kind of appropriate, but the more that I think about it, it's kind of ironic. Did any of those people go to prison? Although, torture, different story. Oh, ah. And of course, here is perhaps Botticelli's best known painting, and judging by the amount of people flocking here to see it, perhaps the most popular painting, The Birth of Venus. Here she is featured arriving at the island of Cyprus. On the left, we have the winds Zephyr and Aura blowing her ashore with one of the Horai about to place a flowery cape over her shoulders. Another great work by another great master, Leonardo da Vinci's Annunciation, of course with Mary about to be told she's giving birth to Jesus on the right, the angel Gabriel making the announcement on the left. In my opinion, they're a little too far apart, but maybe Gabriel didn't want to get too close as Mary was probably frightened by this apparition. And then again, who am I to argue with the decisions of great... Ladies, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Of course, we are in front of Michelangelo's David at the Galleria dell'Accademia, which was built specifically for this wonderful statue, carved over a period of two years of a single block of marble. Rumor has it that if ladies stare at the statue for too long, they may actually become pregnant, in which case I better get out of here right now. Excuse me. Sometimes it's fun to get out of the city for the day, as the Medici did back in the 1500s to this villa, which is now known as Villa Demidoff. The highlight of which, I think, is behind me, called Il Colosso del Apennino, or the Colossus of the Apennines, statue built in 1580 by John Bologna. It's made actually out of brick and covered with stone and plaster. Uh, stood here for about 500 years. Really amazing and beautiful sight. You never know what kind of treasures you're going to find in Florence, and I believe we just found the big guy's foot. Don't know how it got here or separated from him, but I'm sure one day our statue surgeons will be able to reattach it. 
Pues de la mi amiga Laura. This is my friend Laura, who is from Florence herself. So Laura, I have some questions for you. Uh, so you were you were born here, correct? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Oh, 32 years. <laughs> okay, great. So, when did you realize that you were living in a really special place that not every place has all this I, art? I traveled a lot uh -huh. and uh, I traveled for work. Uh, I used to live one year in Milano and every time that I come back home, mm -hmm. I feel that here is my, is my place. I have to stay here because my soul is one of the most I'm really lucky to live here. You are, <laughs> yes. And um, do you have a favorite building or a piece of art in the city? So my favorite building are the Okay. Uh -huh. The most famous uh -huh. building. Mm -hmm. And another one is not so famous, but is the typical house of the medieval age. Mm -hmm. And it's Palazzo d'Avanzati. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to visit it if you have never. Okay, yeah, I will have to visit that. So, and one final question. Um, when you were learning English, what music did you listen to to help you learn? So, I listened to Queen. See? With See? The <laughs> <laughs> and Madonna. Oh, okay. With the lyrics. Okay, all right. Because they sing slowly mm -hmm. and they, they say the words. Okay, I think. Well, piacere conoscerti. I hope you've enjoyed this trip in Florence, Italy. Ci vediamo. See you next time.